Let's review rounding. To round the number, we have to decide what we're going to round to. We might round to the nearest ten, the nearest hundred, or even the nearest thousand. In this video, we're going to talk about rounding numbers to the nearest ten. So let's start out with a simple two-digit number. For instance, the number 24. We have a poem that helps us remember how to round. Our poem tells us to find your number, go right next door, four or less, let me rest, five or more, add one more. So if we start with the first line of the poem, it tells us to find our number. And that's just the place that we're rounding to. In this place, we're going to round to the nearest ten. So if I count my places, ones, tens, the two here is my number. The next line tells me to go right next door. So I go to my neighbor, which is the four. The last two lines of the poem tell me what this number needs to do. If the number is a four or less, a four, three, two, or one, the number here is going to rest. It's not going to change. If the number is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, a five or more, I'm going to add one to my number. In this case, we have a four. The four tells me that I need to rest because our poem says four or less. Let me rest. So the two here is not going to change. It's going to stay exactly the same. Any other numbers that are left behind that number become a zero. In this case, we have one. So 24, rounded to the nearest 10, would round to 20. Let's take a look at another example. Same idea. We're going to round to the nearest 10. I count my places to find my number. Ones, tens. So the 7 is the number that's either going to stay the same or it's going to go up by 1. I know that, or what my number is going to do, by going next door. The 9 here goes to the last line of the poem. It's not a 4 or less, it's a 5 or more, which I add one more to my number. So 7 plus 1 is going to give me an 8. Again, any numbers that are behind the number that's going to stay or change become zeros. The 9 is going to turn into a 0. So 79 is going to run to 80. Now, we can count by tens. This is between 70 and 80. And of course, 79 is closer to 80. It's only one number away. We can do this not only with two-digit numbers, but we can also do it with three-digit numbers. I'm rounding to the nearest ten. I find my number. Ones, tens, hundreds. I'm rounding to the nearest ten, so I pick the digit in the tens place. I go right next door. It's very important to make sure you go to the right because now you have numbers on both the left and the right. The number on the right is a six. It's not four or less, it's a five or more. So it tells me that I have to add one more to my number. My number is a four, plus one changes it to a five. The six behind the four becomes a zero. But now I have this number that's left in the front. I don't need to change it at all because I just have a 5 and I didn't go up any two-digit numbers. So all I do is drop the 2. So 246 to the nearest 10 is going to round to 250. Let's do another one. I'm going to round to the nearest 10. I find my place, 1, I go to my neighbor next door. I have an 8. What does that 8 tell me to do? Add one more. I'm going to add one to the 4 and it becomes a 5. 
The 8 becomes a 0. The 5 doesn't need to change. And it comes right down. So these are how you round to the nearest 10. Why don't you give one a try? I'm going to put a number up here on, on my board and I want you to round it to the nearest 10. So make sure you pause the video and then when you think you have your answer, unpause it and I'll put the answer up here for you. Here's your one to try. Now, you give this one a shot. All right, think you have your answer? Let's take a look at it. I find my number to the nearest 10. I go next door. My 4 tells me that I need to rest. So 84 is going to round to 80. If you got it, good job. Let's try one that might be a little tougher, one with three digits. You give this one a try and then play the tape again and see if you got the right answer. Are you ready? Okay, to the nearest ten. Here we go. Ones, tens. Go right next door. Seven tells me I have to add one more. So it's going to round to 640. Now, there are some times where if it's a three digit number, that number in the front might change. And I'm going to show you one of those just so you know what it's going to look like. Let's say that I was rounding 796 to the nearest 10. Take a look what happens this time. 10's place, right next door. 6 tells me I have to go up one more. But if I go up from a 9, my next number is a 10. And I can't put a two-digit number here. So that ends up making the 7 in the front go up 1. So instead of it being a 7, it becomes an 8 because it's going to go up to 80 in the front. The 6 becomes a 0. So it rounds to 800. Now that might seem a little confusing. But remember, we're counting by tens. Well, I have 96 here. Well, that would be between 90 and 100. Well, because we have the hundreds in the front, it would be between 790, and if we count by tens, my next 10 is actually 800. So that's why this number, when it rounds up, ends up going to 800. It goes up to the next 10, which also happens to be 100. Now, I'm going to make another video later on that you can take a look at that will round to the nearest 100. And I'm also going to make one to round to the nearest thousand. But you can come back and look at this video at any time. And I hope it helps.